My motivations for writing the book uh, stem from observing the nature of violence in the world today and the challenges we face and thinking about the institutions that we use to address violence and thinking they're out of date. So we've built these institutions of national security based upon the Cold War, and yet we're fighting um, enemies that uh, they're not on the other side of a border, they're not wearing a different color uniform. Uh, it, it's what in the national security community is called war among the people, uh, and it's very difficult, and we're not really built for it. And I wanted to provide a, a framework for understanding violence today so we could think about how to counter it. So behavioral science is critical to providing a framework for understanding violence today and combating violence today because it turns out that people who engage in violence are human. And we have a science of human behavior, behavioral science, which to me is economics, um, but there are other social sciences and behavioral sciences, but, but economics is a behavioral science which provides a really nice framework for understanding human behavior. And it seems to me when we do that, we can actually understand war among the people. We can understand terrorism. We can understand crime. We can understand insurgency from the perspective of the economist, from the perspective of the behavioral scientist, because they all have that one element in common, which is human behavior and the human condition. So from my own experience, I started my career in the U.S. military, in the U.S. Navy, and my first job out of college was the Gulf War. And I was trained to uh, think about combat and to address combat in terms of long-range complex weapon systems. And that's the era in which I grew up. Like I said, it's the, it's the evolution of Cold War thinking and standoff weapon systems. And then after I left the Navy, I went to the U.S. Senate. I worked as a national security advisor in the Senate, and I started to witness terrorism in the world, suicide terrorism, uh, civil wars, insurgencies, where there wasn't a clearly defined enemy. They weren't across a border. They weren't wearing a uniform. And realized that I was absolutely unequipped and untrained to think about violence in this context. It wasn't a world in which um, uh, long-range weapon systems made any difference in the world. You don't stop suicide terrorism with a Tomahawk missile. So I needed to find this new framework for understanding the world. And for me, that was economics. And so I started to study the economics of violence, and that is thinking about violence in market terms. In order to make the case in support of the theory of why behavioral science does describe organized violence, I also use examples from fiction. So I use uh, Lord of the Rings and Fight Club and other popular movies. So I have the three main characters of, of Pablo Escobar, Joseph Kony, and Osama bin Laden, and I mix in there uh, Lord of the Rings and, and Fight Club and Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, and other very popular narratives so that you don't have to be an academic to understand the theories of behavioral science because the story is going to be told through characters that you know and you know well. The book is written for everybody who has an interest in making sense of a complex, violent, and scary world. We witness violence every day today in the world. We pick up the newspaper, we watch TV, we watch uh, uh, YouTube channels and, and video channels, and we see violence, and it seems so difficult and so complex to understand. I want people to have tools to understand the nature of violence, the nature of organized violence, so that way, A, we can, we can sleep better and we can look after our families and our children and our friends better. And people in power who are responsible for crafting national security policies have a better way to think about and to react to what's happening in the world. 
And third, people who are designing the next generation of national security infrastructure, whether that's military or law enforcement um, or development assistance, AID, whatever the case may be, I want people to understand what are the sources and causes of violence? Where does violence come from? So that they, we can think more smartly about the institutions of national security. The institutions we have today are not adequate and appropriate, and I want this book to be accessible to anybody who cares about that issue so they can read this book, understand, and hopefully take action.